New at 10, thieves target a local daycare stealing from the buses used to transport children. The daycare says criminals went after their catalytic converters. It comes as upticks and these kinds of thefts have been reported elsewhere across the U.S. Eyewitness News reporter Henry Ramos tells us how the crime is leaving the daycare scrambling. It's been a rough ride. Literally a rough ride for the Colorbox Child Learning Center. The daycare in Hondo can't use its three buses to transport its kids. They took um, some parts off of each bus. The daycare says thieves who you see here in a vehicle parked up front tore through the gate and got to work. Owner Amy Salazar tells us several suspects in the middle of the night cut up parts from underneath all three buses. They went after the catalytic converter. It is part of the exhaust system and they're made of precious metals inside like platinum making them attractive to thieves. We've took a big hit. According to state law, it is illegal to drive without them. And this left Salazar scrambling to find other means of transportation for her kids. And the families were hurt by it, the children. Children, like four-year-old Grayson, who loves riding the bus. It really got under my skin. His father, Daniel Garcia, is angry. You're stealing from your own people because, like I said, you know, these people, they give you the shirt off their back, you know, and for somebody to come and do that, it's. It's not even worth it. In the meantime, Salazar is getting help with other sets of wheels while her buses are in the shop. It does take a, a big hit um, more emotionally than financially because, you know, it, it's hurting us. It's hurting the kids. Henry joins us live. Henry, I understand the thieves left items of their own behind. Well, Deborah, these thieves must have been in a hurry. Salazar, she walked around her property. She found blades that belonged to a saw, which she believes was used to cut up these parts from these buses. And she also found a watch that was left behind. You know, this crime, it has set her back $7,000 worth of auto repair, auto repairs. And she's hoping that the insurance will cover most of it. If you know anything about this crime, you're asked to contact the Medina County Crime Stoppers and the Sheriff's Office. We're live on the Northwest side. Henry Ramos, Kins 5 Eyewitness News.